Well, hello, Glue Troopers, and thanks for tuning in. I did not get an opportunity to go out to the Tarbis today because I had family commitments. But once I got back, I did spend a lot of time coming through my emails. And I want to give a quick shout out to Orange Tabby and a few other folks who have been sending me a lot of great information that we're going to be using on the live stream tomorrow night, which is going to largely emphasize uh, automobiles, particularly concept cars, science fiction cars, including the ones that were used in movies like Journey to the Far Side of the Sun, also known as Doppelganger, and later went on to be used in UFO, the Edge Draker and Colonel Foster cars, and a whole bunch of other stuff about the miniatures and special effects that were done in those movies and the models that were made for it. And a lot of kits that were never made that I think might have been popular kits, or at least might be today, that some of these movies now have a cult following. But we'll talk about that on the live stream tomorrow. So uh, again, a big shout out to uh, Orange Tabby for getting me all of these pictures. And we're going to be talking about this at length tomorrow. While I was in those emails, I was asked a question by one glue trooper about what science fiction kits I have on the shelf in the stash right now. So I went out to the Tarbis and took a look, and much to my amazement, there were only two genuine television or movie science fiction kits in the stash. There was the Star Trek Enterprise Incident Kit, which I probably won't build, at least not anytime soon, because I already have a completed one I did on the shelf. I actually did an online build article about that back in the days when we used to actually have, you know, bulletin boards. The other one is the Space 1999 Eagle Transporter, which I do hope to build before too long because I really like that vehicle. I think it is one of the coolest and most believable science fiction builds ever made. And a lot of what we're going to talk about on the live stream tomorrow is probably going to be orientated towards things like uh, BBC Productions and Jerry Anderson Productions because of their fantastic model work. But I'll save that for tomorrow. While I was going through the stash, I realized it's in desperate need of rearrangement, and I'm going to start uh, working on that. But the, the Beta 1 is on the short stack of models to be built, and the Eagle Transporter hopefully won't be too far behind it, because that's going to look really good on my science fiction shelf. If I didn't already mention it, the reason I don't have many science fiction kits in the stash is because, for some reason, they always seem to be one of the first ones I build. I just really like sci-fi. And I'm a big fan of UFO and, of course, Battlestar Galactica and Star Trek and Star Wars and all those uh, Jerry Anderson productions. So there you go. Uh, I was really surprised, though, that I only had uh, those two kits in the stash. And I wouldn't have the Eagle Transporter if it wasn't for the generosity of the glue troopers. But the main thing I wanted to do on tonight's video was just to remind everybody that there is a live stream tomorrow beginning at 7 p.m. East Coast time, which should be 2300 Zulu or 11 p.m. Zulu. Well, guys, that's all I have for tonight. I'm sorry it is such a short video, but I didn't get any work done today, so there's really nothing new to talk about. As always, please take care of yourselves and model on.